Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me Luba. And it's me Striker, and we're gonna talk in this video today about the benefits of actually meeting ladies uh, in Europe for you as a man, as opposed to maybe in her own country, such as Ukraine. First of all, I want to say that we've been interviewing a lot of ladies, talking to all of our partners and agencies in different cities. And before we get back to work, like before, like actually we start getting the request from the guys because we were feeling not so comfortable of like, or, you know, do people really care about dating at the moment, especially in Ukraine, yeah. like do the ladies want it? Uh, we got a request from the clients and I started talking to our uh, partners and the feedback was very, very positive. And the dynamic that we see right now of the guys coming to Europe, meeting with the ladies, having a Zoom calls, like we have it like every single day, like we see that this is working. That is why we want you to decide and do that while it is possible. So what are the benefits of you coming to Europe and dating a Ukrainian lady at the moment? Okay, number one, I'm just gonna throw up the, this one here, is um, one of the problems when you go over to Ukraine is that you're out of your uh, comfort zone and you're almost stepping into her frame in the sense that, you know, if the waiter comes over, you're gonna be uh, kind of looking to her to sort of maybe order something because you can't say it, you can't read the menu, she'll do that stuff for you. This can be quite emasculating uh, to men. The man should be ordering uh, the food and, and um, for him and for her, right? These little things are very important. If you followed our channel for a while, you'll understand uh, all of this stuff. When you're in Europe, quite often you're going to be in a country that probably speaks English. You know, like at a restaurant, if it's in a tourist place, they're going or to be. At least has a definitely has an English menu. Yeah, English menu. Um, so you can then take that leadership role in that relationship, and, and she will cool. let you. And she will let you take that leadership role. You're not going to be looking to her to call a taxi and all that sort of stuff. Because believe me, that's like one of the worst things. Like for a man when he does go over to Ukraine. Uh, is have to rely on her for doing stuff. So this is a huge benefit. You can then organize stuff easily. You're just on vacation in, in Western Europe. Um, and so you can definitely, you know, hold the frame a lot easier than if you were in Ukraine. And what is the second point I want to say here and call it the second point is that what is good that you will have much more things together that we always say like create this emotion. So you will explore together. Mm. No matter what will happen with both of you in these countries, like it will be definitely for the first time for her and for you, right? Yeah. So no matter what you do, 11 o'clock you're going to get some sushi from some... From some, Japan. Japan. <laughs> from somewhere. Um, somewhere, you know, like no matter what, like this will be a completely new adventure for both of you that will make you feel very close to each other even if some experience would not be the best it's still you know yeah. these little uh, semantics it, how you call it like sem yeah semantics. semantics it's actually it's actually first time experiences like that can hold um the most amount of power with a woman like if you were to walk around a park that's close to her house that's your first time experience and those are going to be your memories of walking around in that park for the first time that you would remember She's already done it a thousand times before, probably, you know, but so if you can choose something in the in the country that she's in that she hasn't gone and been to before, maybe it's a, I don't know, a wildlife zoo, maybe it's a hike, maybe it's some, doesn't matter, doesn't matter what it is at all, but if it's a first time for both of you, like the, it's these, it's these, and we see it, you know, I've, exper I've experienced it as well, like in, in very strong ways, those first times together where it's, you know, you're both out of your comfort zone and you're having these new experiences, these new emotions, this is what, uh, pushes people together just naturally you know so that's a benefit what else everything that you said is just leading to the point that i want to say is like number maybe three if you want to call it it's like taking her out of your comfortable zone a lot of times in ukraine when i go on the dates i see uh, that the ladies are kind of like too comfortable they know everything they even know the waiter at this restaurant because it's right next to her home or drinking coffee or somebody saying hello to her and she feels super comfortable when the guy is not that much and also the ladies are expecting the guy to feel comfortable and they're expecting him from for leading the situation even though they can't and i know that on my own experience when i travel to us and i meet with our clients i see you know that this is a guy who is driving a big truck you know he knows everything he can solve any problem but when you're in ukraine like you know i'm doing that for them and it's okay because i know but for the ladies sometimes it's unusual but mm. here in europe 
she's out of your comfortable zone she doesn't know how to order coffee she doesn't know you know where is anything so you explore it together and sometimes you can do a little bit more googling and you can take her uh take her to that place uh you know or or arrange something so this gives you so much power that it's hard to underestimate yeah and there's a there's a problem when women are too comfortable like women should be uh uncomfortable they should be fear of loss she should be thinking i really hope this guy likes me you know um, because if she's too if she's too certain on things and there's no fear of loss from being too comfortable these things don't play into the favor of the man so having that uh situation uh, that you're in where you're both uncomfortable you can hide it a little bit better but at least you're both out of your comfort zones and you're both uh, a little bit uncomfortable as opposed to she is comfortable when she is um in her uh, comfortable zone and you're not and point number four you will never guess so point number four is she will have much more time she is not working uh, basically of course Ukrainian ladies trying to find job here in Europe but if you don't work online the only job that mm. you can get to be honest is like maybe clean some apartment or uh, clean some dishes at the restaurant or babysit somebody so but basically there is not that much job that you know we can take here in in Europe because we don't know the language and also uh, people here are working and it's not that you know Spain for example we're expecting so much Ukrainian people who are willing to work so they are all right about employment so it's very very difficult basically she will be more available and it will give you more time to spend with each other it will give you more time to um, uh, to get to know right each other yeah. and um, it just benefits it just really great yeah benefit be because it is a problem like when guys come over for like a week you know to visit the lady that they're dating or that they've met or whatever it is and she's at work from like seven nine, in the morning you nine know, to six got, and then she has like yeah. uh, two times a week she has a yoga class that she can't miss well like she's got to drop take the kids all of the stuff and the guy kind of sits around like for ages um you know uh trying to you know spend as much time as he can with her here you don't sort of really have that problem you may have it with some ladies who knows but it's just something to think about as well you know all of these things that we're talking about here they all allude to the to the same thing which is this which is the point that we've pushed for years and years is that women in ukraine are looking for a man to lead and even lead when there's a crisis you know she wants to be led she wants someone that's going to take this leadership role in the relationship this masculine role in the relationship so she can bring her feminine uh, role into the relationship and you both work together situations like this crisis um you know terrible things that are happening these are times when the man uh, should look at these as an opportunity to lead because she's going to be looking at this opportunity to see who is leading who is a man that can lead in this relationship and she's going to be naturally drawn to him things happen and results uh, come um, out of those um, events this is just an event so results will come out of it you know event of course is extremely sad and extremely bad and we very very much like supporting ukraine and every day we are talking to our family in ukraine our friends and you know we try to do our best we understand that some of you are watching this video and saying like oh of course you're sitting here in spain like and you can do this video but we're talking from the practice and during the COVID, and of course COVID now is nothing compared to what's happening in ukraine but during that crisis we created seven have a happy married couples that are now like almost all of them are in the countries of the destination you know we have a couple mm -hmm. in in uk uh in uh, us you know so every Everything is everything is working out and I want this war even like it's so bad and so painful and, and ruining so many families and so many lives we want to make something good out of that and even this time you can find your soul if you can if you can find your partner and you can be together and let this like negative event bring something good into our lives we will be very happy about that mm. hope it makes sense mm -hmm. thank you for watching see, see you later next time